Consider the following register. We can see that it has eight flip-flops. Consequently, it's capable of storing eight bits. Each flip-flop has the values as shown here, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. However, this position has no value. This is reserved for the sign bit. And if there's 0 here, it means it's positive. If there's 1 here, it means it's negative. So to repeat, 0 is positive in this position, and a 1 in this position means the number is negative. Consider the following example. I'm going to fill all these with 0 and the last 3 with 1. And we can see that the position values are as shown here. But when we get to this position here, that means positive. So we can see it's a positive sign. Now all of the following have the values as shown, with this one being 4, this one being 2, and this one being 1. We add all of these up. Now when we add that lot up, we can see we get 7. And this is the positive sign, so we end up with plus 7. So this particular binary pattern here, when we're dealing with signed binary patterns, is plus 7. Let's have a look at the following example. We can see we've got 1 nearly everywhere. Now, the position coefficients of these bits that are shown here, whereas this one is the sign bit. It doesn't have any numeric value. But if we have a look at those that do, we can see what they're worth. This one's worth 16, 8, 4, 2, and finally 1. Now if we add all of these up, what we will get from that addition is 127. Now this is a sign bit, and that is 0, so it means positive. So we end up with plus 127. The biggest positive number possible for an 8-bit binary number is positive 127. Let's look at the following example where everything is a zero. Now it's the case that these still have these position coefficient values, and this is still the sign bit, but it doesn't take much imagination to realize that all of this is zero. Let's consider the following two 8 bits. The first 8 bit here, well they're all zero, which means it's zero. Whereas here we can start off with a zero and all the rest are one. Now the first zero means we've got positive and the rest add up to 127. So we can say that the last binary pattern gives us positive 127. We've already seen that this binary pattern here is plus 7. So we can write that positive 7 is actually the same as this binary pattern here in binary. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 1's complement of this. So we just simply invert everything, as you can see. So there's our 1's complement. To find the 2's complement, we add 1 to it, which is precisely what I'm doing now. So we end up with this, where this is in fact the 2's complement. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place this in this register as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this now holds the 2's complement. Now that means negative. That's the negative sign. Now all of this is in fact minus 7. The question we need to ask is how is this minus 7? Now the best way to answer this is to take the representation of positive 7 and to take the representation of negative 7 and add them together. When you add them together they should give you 0. So let's see if that is the case. So what we can do, we'll write down positive 7 here in binary, which is this one here, taken from this register. And I'm now going to write down the negative 7, which is taken from this register. And what we do now, we simply add these up. So if we go to the first column here, that's going to be north down carry 1. Add that column, it's north down carry 1, north down carry 1, north down carry 1, all the way into the last one, which is north down carry 1. And then we ignore this carry, the one that goes into what would be the ninth bit, we ignore it. And if we look at all of the 8 bits, and we put them in this register, then we can see, in fact, that that's 0. Now we know plus 7 plus minus 7 should give us 0. Consequently, we can see this register has got within it 0. So this must be correct. So what we can say is if you want to find a negative value in signed binary numbers, what you do, you find the positive number, 
take the terse complement of it and that gives you the negative representation. So here we started off with plus 7, took the twos complement and we got negative 7. We then added them together to give us 0 and of course it's 0 because we ignored the carry into the ninth bit. Consider the following examples. These are eight zeros here, so that's zero in our number system. This one here is one. This one here is two. Um, this one here is 126. Should emphasize these are all positive because of the sign bit. And this one is positive 127. Using the quick method for finding the two's complement, I'm going to find negative one from this positive one. So I'm quickly doing that here. Look at a previous video if you can't remember. So that's negative 1. This is plus 2 here, so I'm going to take the 2's complement of that. And what I will have here now is that representing negative 2. Then I'll find the 2's complement of this one here. And when I finish this, it will represent negative 126. And finally, I'll come to this one here, which is 127. I'll find this using the quick method of finding the two's complement, and that is negative 127. If we look at these two bytes here, for minus 126 or 127, we should see a pattern, which should inform us that this pattern here must be minus 128. Therefore, 8-bit signed binary patterns represent the range starting from minus 128 going through 0 to plus 127. That's 256 combinations. Remember, 2 to the 8 gives us 256 combinations. <laughs>